All right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to be working on the uh, four valve swapped Mustang again. And we're gonna be going into further diagnosis of, um, further diagnosing of what actually went wrong and what is actually seized in this motor. So let's get into today's video. So, first things first, I want to address the uh, the wind noise issue that's been happening with my camera. <clears throat> There's just been a lot of windy days lately, which is good because it keeps the place cool, but it also messes with the um, the onboard mic of the camera. Um, just to let you guys know, I've ordered a mic and I should have it in my hand by Monday or Tuesday, so all this wind noise should be done by then. Um, better quality videos will be after that. but. There's a lot to remove to get to this uh, right side valve cover. Let me show you that. I got to remove the upper intake. I got to remove the master for the brakes and the booster. All of this has to be moved. Um, so I'm probably going to just pick the booster up and lay it here. Bring the, bring the master forward. I got to remove the dipstick already removed the wire harness so a lot to be removed so I'll just remove it and then uh, show you guys what I found in the head and so upper intake is off valve fan cover is off and just like the other side I really don't see anything bent broken out of place uh, in the head so definitely now we know uh, it's the bottom end so I am actually going to be tearing this engine down right in the vehicle. So first things first, I have to get that wire harness secured. I don't want to mess that up. That's brand new. So I'm going to take out the fuel pressure regulator over there. And all of the harness I'm going to push inside the vehicle. My plan today is to get the radiator, um, upper intake, alternator, um, basically all, everything off the motor, including the heads. So we're going to take it down to the block and then see uh, what is jammed or what is scarred or what is broken. And so I feel like I have kind of good news or hope for this motor. Um, somehow it's now um, turning again. I'm not really sure how, but um, I took the 18 on the ratchet, little cheetah bar, and now the crank is turning. So it didn't want to turn forward at first. So what I did is I turned it backwards once, and once I did that, I started turning it forward, and it's it's pretty much turning. I don't know what to do at this point, but what I want to do now is um, put some power to the starter and see if the starter could roll this thing over. Put these terminals on. Let's see what happens. And it's rolling. Let me see if I could set the camera up where um, you guys can see it rolling. So yeah. Um, I don't really understand or get why it's rolling over now or why it jammed in the first place but uh, the one thing I'm going to check now is the timing. I'm going to line up all the timing marks and just check to see if this thing is actually, uh, it might have skipped a tooth or something like that where it jumped timing. So let's check the timing and then go from there. So I just figured something out and I want to share it with you guys. I um, realized that once I turned my motor backwards and then turn it forward, it would rotate a few times then get stuck again. Um, I talked to one mechanic and he verified for me that I might have a broken rod which in, sounds insane to me because I thought it took power to break a rod but you know I'm, I'm very I'm lacking in a lot of knowledge so I'm gonna be calling a few more mechanics before I verify that that's actually the case but I am gonna be pulling this motor it seems like uh, I'm gonna have to go into this bottom end no matter what so yeah so far this is where we are um, I got all of the intake off, valve covers off, and 
it's looking like we have a broken or bent rod so yeah like i said um it's looking like we have a bent or broken rod and i'm gonna wait until i um look inside the block to verify if i'm gonna either rebuild this motor or go with the two valve motor the two valve motor will get us back up and running quicker but it's gonna literally be a hundred less horsepower so i would definitely want the extra horsepower for what we do but it's gonna cost a good amount more to fix this motor than it will be to swap in another motor so i'm gonna see how that goes but um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll catch you guys on the next one